wow, you know, I'll be 50 soon. And last night, you know, I know this is, um, don't watch if you don't want to hear about religion or uh, beliefs, but, you know, it's kind of like my beliefs, but it's not all beliefs. It's just kind of what I experienced, like highlights. And um, last night, and then I'll kind of just backtrack to where what's kind of made me believe, I guess. Um, last night, I, I was laying down, and it just come to me. You know, I was like, earlier, before I laid down, my hand just kind of cramped up. And then I was thinking, you know, and I was thinking it was my mind, but I believe it was the spirit that when I accepted, you know, Jesus, the spirit is in my, me and gave me the ability to do that. So you, a lot of people think I'm crazy, but you know, in the Bible, the disciples, they got saved and the spirit filled them and they were able to heal. So why not be able to heal yourself? you know, with the spirit, if it's the Lord's will. So I just, I'm almost 50 and it's like, I feel like a simpleton. Like what? Cause you know, when you think of mainly been in a Baptist church, so they would sing songs and, and preach, but it'd be kind of like, you're just talking and you fall asleep about every service. And then you go to, um, some like church of God or they'll be yelling and, and you get chills. And so you'd say, well, they're alive there, but you know, they're alive. Both of them is your relationship with God. But you know, Jesus said he'd send us a comforter. So the Holy spirit, he's in us. And you, you think about it, life's hard. The world's hard, but there's no reason if you just think about the big picture and you can feel, you can feel the, the power, there's no reason to be sad or upset. And because you have, you know, Jesus sent the spirit into us. So there's no reason to feel bad, you know. And when you're young, I was younger and I was pretty healthy and I didn't hurt. So I kind of, I kind of took life for granted and now that I'm getting older, starting to have, you know, older problems, sugar being elevated and sometimes just walking, my feet want to drag and I have to think, and I, I've been thinking, well, maybe it's my mind. So I had to think for my mind. I said, man, I got to pick up my feet or be cramping and, you know, don't have the potassium and I'm thinking, well, maybe my mind's working. And then I, then I get worried and I'm, cause my dad had, um, dementia, Alzheimer's. So, you know, his mind of course went and he told me his feet started hurting real bad. Um, you know, you get older, your body just starts breaking down anyway. So I, I just, but since Jesus put his name on our soul and we're us, but he's, you know, he, he's bled on the cross. So, you know, he just washed his soul. So I was, I was just feeling it. I don't know how to describe it. I know I'm kind of rambling on. Um, most of my videos are like that, <laughs> but I, I just wish I could put my feeling in words. I'm trying real hard, but I was there and I could just feel it. And it's like, you know, it's like, uh, most of my life, you, you feel like, like, uh, you know, that the, um, God is all, this is it. Uh, I can't pronounce the word, but he's everywhere and he's all empowering. And sometimes you'd, you'd forget that God sees you and you, you get bogged down by life and worried about everything. And you're like, man, you know, that it's, it's tough, but really you got it made because you're promised a future forever. And then you got uh, the Holy Spirit in you and you just ask and, and he can heal you, make you feel better. And 
it's like, why am I just now realizing this? Cause you know, it's like, um, a lot of people, or at least I've, I felt like maybe, you know, you pray and then you, you hope it happens and you ask and a lot of stuff is like selfish. You know, you pray about stuff you want to happen and hope it happens. And, but, uh, you don't realize he's right there with you, you know, like the footprints, uh, old saying, you know, it's like, uh, this guy's talking and he said, man, why'd you leave me, Lord? There were t- two sets of footprints and all of a sudden there's one. And then, you know, they say Jesus talks to the person and says, well, during the difficult times, I carried you and see, we don't realize it that. And it's so cool, man. Cause, uh, it's powerful. It is powerful. And, all this stuff going on, you know, uh, today's time. And I, if my kids get a chance to see this, I wanted them to feel, cause even in my daughter, you know, I, I, um, I had the honor to baptize both my children and they, you know, it says you raise a, a child in the ways of the Lord. And when they grow older, they won't depart. And then recently my daughter wanted to go to uh, church and she's seen something in the sky, like a cross, and and she's been listening to Christian music, and it just touches my heart because I I was the first one that took my grandbaby to church, and my daughter, and we didn't go this past Sunday, but we went like three Sundays, and I can't fall asleep, so I I fall asleep. She nudges me, but I'm I'm get to pick up stuff, but just just feeling that and realizing that no matter what your anxiety anything that bothers you you just remember you know you accepted jesus christ your lord and savior and he he puts the comforter on you because he said i'll go away to prepare a place for you and if it was a lie i wouldn't have said so but then he sends the holy spirit back to you to to be in you and then so you know anything you do i mean he already knows what you're doing but He's with you. He's experiencing your pain, your happiness, everything. And we're all part, you know, we're, we're children because he's, he's baptized us with his spirit and his blood. And I don't know how to say it any better, but it's like, he's, he's in you, you know, um, a lot of people ain't going to believe me is, you know, you know, some people think he's like on a cloud somewhere on Mars and, and you get the power of, um, the blood by Wi-Fi. And then the old Testament, some of them like Ezekiel, like somebody be bleeding and they, they had certain sayings, you know, this was before Jesus. And, you know, I say, I let, I see you lay any blood. I say, do you live? And it was supposed to stop people from bleeding and, some reason people said you had to, a man had to tell a woman and a woman had to tell a man. I don't know, but it's crazy. And they also say there's aliens in Ezekiel. But anyway, the new Testament, Jesus made a new covenant. You know, he, he gave himself for us. So that changed a lot of the old Testament. So even though that stuff was in the old Testament, you don't have to do that. You just, in the name of Jesus, you know, and if it's his will, then he'll give it to you. And I just, you know, it's crazy. I I don't know how to get it across, but I'm just now realizing this <laughs> at almost fifty, because you know I've been uh, church services and and felt it, you know. But uh, just realizing he's in us and not he's not over there, at the next town or in another room or or we're going through hard times. He's not with he's with us all the time, and it's just it's so comforting and you know, you got to remember, you got to remember that it's that way. And, um, cause I remember, you know, my, my parents got divorced when I was about one and a half. So I see my mom dating and my dad dating when I was growing up. And then eventually I went to, I was kind of a rough kid. Yeah, I got in a lot of fights. And then I went to a, um, I believe it, I was in second grade. And I went to a Christian summer school. And I got in a bunch of fights. And then 
the preacher called me in the office and he said, you know, he scared me. He said, you want to go to hell? And, and a little kid, I was like, I scared to death. And then he, they had me repeat, you know, the Lord's prayer. Like I'm a sinner. Do you, you know, you believe you're a sinner? And I, yes. And do you want to be saved? Yes. And you said, Jesus Christ, your Lord and savior. And I said, yes. And then and, and say, but you know, you're not, you're not a changed person. You still have to work on that. And it, something started happening, you know, just through life. And I've had, um, almost fell off the mountains one time and been through some crazy situations, car wrecks, several things that should have killed me. I did something stupid. I had two inner tubes around me and we was in a lazy river in Myrtle beach and I bounced around the lazy river, fell over and my wife just had open heart surgery three months prior and she was able to pick me up. I almost drowned in, you know, so, um, I, I seen like three, three things. It looked like three fingers when I was, uh, a senior in high school. And the first thing I got, I got something in my eye and it scratched my eye and I washed it out and I had to go to the doctor and then, um, another thing happened. I can't remember what it was, but I was getting scared because they said, you know, things come in threes. And then, um, also had, we was running in uh JRTC. And if anybody remembers me from, um, high school, now I doubt they remember it, but I got a trophy cause I did the most sit-ups. And me and um, another guy was, I did the push-ups. They beat me in push-ups, but I did the sit-ups. And, and he could have beat me, but he was holding back. He just wanted to do more than me. But he, did, he, he didn't know. I said, don't tell him. Don't have me tell him. You know, and uh, I did like 128. That's back in the day in three minutes. And he did like 92. So I got a higher percentage, even though he beat me on the run and the push-ups. But I still got the trophy. But I got hit by a car coming back we went one way down and I, I looked back behind me and I was I tried to get to the right and he caught my left leg threw me up in the air I spun around the other way and I was like you know dear lord don't let my leg be broke and I felt the tingling all over and I got up did this to the driver he about had a heart attack he hit me with like a 1979 Plymouth with a chrome bumper. So, and then, uh, it ripped my pants and then I ended up getting the infotigo and my knee had to get antibiotics, but nothing was broke. And several things that seemed like there were bad things there. And I prayed and they, they left, um, several situations I prayed about. They've answered. So it made my faith stronger and stronger, you know, and, um, just certain, certain things you can feel. One of the things, um, my son, he, he was on some medicine and he was seeing things and that's probably the most scared I've ever been. Um, he was, so it was some, I think he was impressionable cause he wasn't saved yet or that maybe there's something in the house cause it was, this is scary, so you might not want to let the little kids see this, but, you know, hopefully, maybe it won't be scary, but he drew a picture, and it looked like a green, like a creature, but humanoid with, like, spikes all over it, and he said, that's what he's seen, and then uh, I was in the doorway, and he went to the other room, and I felt like just pressure all over my body just was crushing me and I was that I could have collapsed and just gave out and then I prayed you know and and it went away and then I prayed for thing you know if something was in the house to leave and it left and um just in Jesus name so my faith has really been strong but I did not realize as much 
and they preach it all the time when you listen to it, but it didn't, you know, it's like the, the block, the beat of stumbling block or, you know, but they preach all the time. Like the Lord's with you and he's guiding you. But you, you think about reading the Bible and the scripture, you know, is the Lord talking to me and, and how, how do you hear what he says? But you know, when you set him and he's in you, he hears everything, he knows everything. And just talking, you know, the spirit, you know, you believe that the the Son, the Father, and the um, Holy Spirit, the Trinity, you know, um, I'm just telling my beliefs and my experiences. But, and I feel like a dunderhead because, you know, it's like uh, sometimes you feel like you're in the world by yourself. You're going through everything. And kind of depressing because you're trying to get everything working. Um, you get older and you don't feel as competent in your abilities to do things as you used to. And you're worried about this and then you worry about your children and then you, you start and, and you don't have to worry about all that. And then just put that aside, you know, but everybody's, everybody's so busy, um, just focus on on here and now and trying to make it the day to day that they forget that, you know, they've been saved and they got the, the spirit in them. I mean, just remember that and, and just draw. I mean, it, it's, it's great. And, um, I just wanted to share that, you know, I just, I just was really touched by feeling that. You know, so, um, hope I didn't scare everybody off, but I just had to share because, you know, I get like one or two people watch my videos <laughs> and probably one of them is me, but, um, you know, my kids, um, if this channel is still up when I, I pass away, it's, I think it's June the 7th was well, probably June the 8th, 2021. You know, so uh, subscribe, stay cool. You never know what I'm gonna post. I got I got several things I've been working on, but I'm also doing this. Um, I'm gonna post about that. I'm doing this SSMC course. I've drove Fort Liv, had a license, lost it. Don't know what I did with it, but they gave me another Fort Liv license. You never know. Um, I've been working like part time. And everything is kind of going cool. Got a job offer. I'll be starting that soon. And it just, you know, it's pretty good. But um, I've been looking for work since September 2020. So it's almost uh, nine months. But, I, you know, I had a little part-time job I had for be three years next month. So, you know, it's... The economy is starting to go good. You know, things are going. Um, there'll probably be a big revival eventually before it gets real crazy. Because things, the, the climate, and you can just feel things. And a lot of people, unfortunately, just get caught up and go and just try to do the best they can instead of realizing, hey, you know, it, it's going to get better. So if you're having a bad day, it's going to get better. There's there's a time for this and a time for that. You know, like Solomon always says, but don't let it get you down. And thanks for watching. Stay cool. And don't forget, we, we have him in us, you know. And um, it's just my personal experience, not knocking anything, being against anybody, just sharing what makes me believe what I believe. And, um, I hope my children and all can see it one day and, and get some joy out of it. And my mom, my mom likes my stuff, I think. So, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Talk to you later.